What is up guys welcome back to the channel this is the humble lecture and today we got another figure to be added into this chart wave here and this is of course the X-Men Monet St. Croix so in today's video what we're gonna do is of course check out the figure go through the articulation and of course give you my thoughts and my opinions after doing some comparisons so without further ado let's just get right into it Okay, so we're going to start off here with the packaging and this again is one of the last few windowless packaging that we're going to have and hopefully we're going to get all the normal window packaging hopefully soon and we have the product image on the front and also on the back with a preview of the bath pieces and some of the accessories and on the side here we have some artwork designs and on the other we have the whole wave here and this one number three would come with the left leg so now let's just unbox this Mone Crow. Okay, so here is the M figure and I gotta be honest with you, this whole wave, the reason why I didn't want to get initially the whole wave because I wasn't really familiar with these characters. I know they are Generation X, but I didn't really follow this whole series that much back in the early 2000s to the late 90s. But I do know this character a bit because I did have this card back in the day. This is the Fleer Ultra looking really nice. So when I saw this character, I was like, hey, that looks really pretty similar. And I just thought, you know what, I should get it. So in terms of the description here, profile, thanks to her invulnerability, superhuman strength, ability to fly, superior intelligence and overall beauty, the elegant aloof and cautionary, occasionally arrogant M certainly stands out as the most self-assured member of Generation X. So she has been part of the school of gifted blah 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 blah. She has been in the Jubilee, but okay, so pretty cool. So that is my only uh, thing that I know about M here. So we are straight going on to the figure. In terms of accessories, to be honest, there isn't a lot. We only have a pair of hands here. We have the closed fisted, and we also have this kind of open, grabby, grabby hands here. And in terms of the back pieces, we have the left leg here, which will go for a shot, which we'll do in a separate video. And now let's check out this figure. I think it looks really, really nice. I think the head scalp on this looks really amazing. I'm gonna push this to the side. Have a closer look. Look at that face. Very beautiful. I gotta say it looks really, really nice. Uh, it's a bit monotonous for my liking, but not too bad, I would say. Yeah, the eyes are a little bit cockeyed to me. Uh, let me know in the comments down below what you guys think. We have the wavy hair as well. I do like the suit. The suit looks really, really nice. You have your nice shoulder pads on her, which you can kind of uh, push away. So you can, doesn't really hinder you when it comes to articulation. And we have this kind of bracelet gauntlets on her, which looks really, really nice as well. But the X logo here isn't movable. So it's just like, just stuck there. And that is what you're going to get. You have your pinless elbows and pinless knees. So that's one thing to keep in mind. I do like the belt here, which just float around. The X looks a little bit out of place in for my liking, which is a bit of an annoying thing to have. The red suit looks all right, I would say. You can tell that it's not the cleanest of finish, especially if you look at her chest here. You can see the zip. It's not the cleanest artwork, I would say. And we go on to a nice butt here. Go on to the legs. I do like the sculpting on this. So you can see the indentations or the projections that comes out from her legs. Looking really, really nice. And overall, I think it looks really cool with that suit design. I think it's pretty accurate to what I have. And as we can see from this card here, like we have this Monet St. Croix. So yeah, pretty accurate, I would say. And now let's just go on to articulation so in terms of back movement as you would expect you're not going to get a lot but front movement pretty much i would say you can see that it pushes down really a lot it does use a disjoint movement in the neck there and of course you can rotate it you can kind of uh, tilt it a little bit on some side movement over here and going on to the arms you can of course rotate 360 degrees with even the shoulder pads and you can stretch out this much which is really nice. You get a nice T-pose here. And you do get your bicep swivel, which is amazing because sometimes we don't get it with the female figures. And we get the double jointed elbows over here. Looking really, really nice. Goes back a lot. 
and we go on to the wrist here rotation you can rotate it and it swivel up and down a little bit of course it's hindered by the parts here and nice groovy groovy on the top and going on to the torso so you have the upper torso so you can crunch forward this much and of course can crunch backwards not a lot and you can of course swivel to the sides and you can rotate it as much as you want going on to the waist there is any rotation you have the belt going on to the legs you can spread out a lot here this much you do have your upper thigh swivel and can kick forward about 90 degrees and you have pinless jointed double knees here which goes back a lot i would say it doesn't kick back to her butt but still very very decent there isn't any cuff rotation as you would expect but you do have nice ankle pivots i would say very nice and movable and i think it's really nice to make her stand and now let's do some comparisons right here so measuring on this figure it does stand in at about the six inch mark And here are the other figures that we have already reviewed so far on this channel. So we have the Astonishing Cyclops and also Fang. And I gotta say, to be honest, the figures here look really, really nice with all that new body mold that we can see on all these figures so far. Okay, so that is it with the Monet Synchro figure. And full rating, I'm gonna give this a nice 6.5 out of 10. I mean, it isn't the best, you don't get a lot of accessories with this again with this whole wave, but it is still a very good figure. It is, of course, using the newest body mold over here. You get your bicep swivel as well, you get good amount of articulation, the suit looks good, and of course, that face. It is definitely beautiful. So yeah, it's gonna give this a nice 6.5 out of 10. But of course, let me know in the comments down below what you guys think because these are just all my thoughts and my opinions. Of course, if you guys enjoyed this video, do click the like and smash the subscribe button down below for more videos like this in the future. And of course, if you wanna find me on my socials, you can do so on my Instagram at the Hummel Lecter. And I'll see you guys in the next one.